titled The Singing Cricket. I want to tell you about a singing cricket I knew once. You know, singing helps keep you going. It might not be all that keeps you going, but it's a mighty powerful way of telling somebody you aim to keep going. Now, these politicians have their own way of singing, drinking, celebrating, poker playing, and going to meetings, but their songs ain't nothing like the songs of the people. Any young politician leaving his home country to go to the capital city ought to listen to the songs that people sing and go that direction with his vote. And just offhand, you might think us humans is about the only outfits that sing, but I recollect that old cricket was about the best singer for his size I ever heard. <laughs> Crickets always sing under old chunks of rotten wood, old stuffy apartment houses where the stair steps is creaky and liable to throw you. Anywhere there's anything bad is a good place for this kind of singing. Mold, rot, decay, crooked work, lies, profit snatching. When you hear a crooked singing, you just look around you'll find a rotten board or plank that needs to be jacked up and a new one run under it. Crickets don't help him bring the house down. He just hangs around to sing, the dang thing's falling down. <laughs> but the other bugs that really brought the house down run off somewhere and holler, that cricket was there all the time. He's the one. He lives in rotten, filthy causes. He believes in it. Get him. And finally, one day, Somebody squashed the cricket under the shoe. But the cricket's brothers and sisters heard about it, and they started singing about that. Then all the other relatives heard that singing, and now they're singing about it. They're all just sitting around old rotten houses, singing about the death of that one cricket. And you know what they call the song they're all singing? It's called the song of the singing cricket. <laughs> And perhaps it goes like this. <laughs>